Uh, we have open mat later after this. Uh, then, uh, like yesterday, I was yesterday. Sorry, like the day before, yesterday I was in Parno. So today uh, I roll next class open mat, and then I will lift some weights. Yeah, and then I roll again two hours. So you will have your chance if you want to roll with me. Uh, I re highly recommend it. Also because I want to lose. I want to steal everything you have. <laughs> uh, that's why I like to roll. I usually I use John Cavanaugh's uh, very nice sentence. It's about you know not damaging your hardware, but it's more about you know upgrading your software a lot. Uh, that keeps you in the game, and uh, that's why losing is good because I want to steal what you have. I have to lose to actually understand your timing. Yeah, I put your usually I put myself in different positions that I feel you like. And then I lose. That gives me a good excuse to tap, you know, um, and I feel good about it because I gave it to you, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know that this is uh, also like you know you do uh, you know. This is also what uh, Greg Jones said. You know, if somebody gets in a leg lock, he gives the leg lock four times more. So they will doubt themselves. Like, did I get it or did I actually give it to? So. So I do the same, but yeah, I have to lose to actually steal from you. So because some people have, you know, good jokes, good stuff, and I, I'm, I am the guy that develops defense. So I have to upgrade my software, and maybe you have something. So I have to go there to see maybe you have details that I haven't met before, and then that's why. And then maybe you have something, and then I go, like, oh, interesting. And then I have to adapt. I'm gonna upgrade my software, and then probably let you do it again until. I can balance the equation, and then sport happens, and then I'm happy to lose and win, but I can't just go like always lose. I have to upgrade the software, then sport happens again. We have the optimal knowledge, and then we go, yeah? Uh, and the message is also these days that, uh, the message is about optimal defense. Um, that I don't like that if, if defender does anything and then just the attacker wins anyway. Then what's the point, yeah? And Jiu-Jitsu is usually taught this way, that uh, it's like whatever they do, you still win. <laughs> and uh, there is a, there is a, there is a optimal defense that kind of nullifies the <laughs> thing, and I'm after that. And if I'm wrong, we will change it, we will adapt, and then we do something else. But I'm after that uh, because I don't like that. They, like I said, the last class that if I do a baseball choke, then. You saw defenses, people do this, they knee slide through, you know, they still extra uh, baseball jokes. And whatever the defender do, I still win. But I know there's optimal defense and how, because I think you know also, we escape leg locks, really deep leg locks. Understand? <laughs> it's like slipping very dangerous heels and we get out. There is a right thing to do. Yeah, and the people, if they know everything, I can still slip very dangerous heels and I, we know optimal defense from there, example. And so I'm after that. Not everything, I'm stupid, do this, still he looks, still he looks, you know? I actually want to fight somebody that has optimal defense and then my heart attacks can be better, then it's a sport, both can win because pace, exhaustion, you know, blah, 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 and then sport happens. But I'm, I'm after that. So, anyway, uh, I brought a gi because you will have questions, because I protect my neck differently uh, than you're used to mostly. And this is intermediate class, but I think it's doable, but I think just certain things are like intermediate more. And definitely, <laughs> if you want to do with a gi, then tell me so I put the gi on, we can roll later. Yeah? And I let you choke me. Yeah. So it's uh, my thing, you know, that I like. <laughs> yeah? See? Jokes? Okay? Okay. Yeah, so anyway, uh, so let's start. Uh, and my, uh, like last time, last class was I have an agenda. Yeah? And uh, we're going to do again Baby Bridge. I've been teaching baby riches, I think, like four or five camps alone. The different topics, you know, different, still the goddamn baby rich, you know? So it seems to be I have an agenda. So, you know. So, uh, what I want you to do today, basically, we will start because I will show you. So, this is what it is, yeah? So, I let you do it just for a giggle because I want to see you just super confused. And that's my amusement because, you know, that's coaching 20 plus years. So, I have to have my fun. So, crunch. <laughs> Elbow, this is today important, like it was also Thursday. This actually is here, not there. Kind of boxing arms, my head is up. And up doesn't mean this, up means ear to the shoulder as much as possible, and I'm here. This is a mini baby ridge, and we also have full, we did Thursday, yeah? I need this. 
And this is how we're going to start to defend also later key chokes. I think you're worried about, and then back. And then uh, the move, this is boring, just one side. And then you can also do both sides. Yeah, you can do this, you can do that. Very easy transition, actually transfers to fighting pretty one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? So, this and that. So, this is also a very sport-specific warm-up, because literally this is what we're gonna do. It's like a deadlift warm-up is a deadlift, yeah? This is what we're gonna do, so we, that's a warm-up. I give you like a 30 seconds, a minute, because then your motivation goes down because you have like, what the hell, you know? But you can keep it up to 30 to one minute, yeah? And then you have your questions. Think about also warm up your brain, why this would make sense. Where's the arm, arm bottom, where's the top? Oh, sorry, where's the top arm, where's the bottom? Why is the head? You know, oh, there's a choke, hmm, but what, what, you know, what Preet talks about that. Have your questions ready. Think about the legs, wrong, better. You have this also. Both are like, I still don't know the, which is the fault. They're like both benefits to this and that. Anyway, uh, so both sides to the transition. Do as your best as you can do it. Uh, I put a stopwatch, literally a maximum a minute. And then everybody's super bored and then we start. Okay, let's go. Think about switching sides. How about this from one side to the other side? Think about how would this help? Stop, bring it back in. So, see, I didn't lie. There's a new thing in town, Estonian precision, not like German precision, you know? <laughs> They're not really precise these days, yeah? We have a saying in Estonia, like German precision, probably some other people also have it, so. Uh, anyway, um, uh, let's uh, pick a partner. I use you actually, come. Uh, I use it because of the brown belt and a little bit more high, more my height, so do it, do it to me, no, no, no. So, let's go behind me. So, uh, right now without the gi, because I want you to be excited, so I reveal the secrets in the end, yeah? Because there's no secrets. So anyway, so what, let's say back tech. Typical back tech that you would teach, and we all agree that is a good thing, so seat belt, get the seat belt. They usually put the knee behind me, and I have to be a little bit usually, yeah, you agree? I have to be a little bit in your lap, yeah? So this is here, now they put the hook in, yeah? They, they fight for that, and now we fall to this side. Yeah, and then usually end up in body triangle even, or wait, or even let's say you end to turn, you end up also with our arm killed, yeah, and that's even worse. They get this arm, grab this arm, and then you're getting choked also. Okay, so that's could be what usually YouTube shows. That and this back take, just to uh, just say something different. This is like if this happens, this is five to six, or even more escapes in a row. Uh, not escapes, uh, the mistakes in a row for this to happen. Let's call it five. And we will, there's actually small ones, not like big ones, but they're small enough that you can go like it's a mistake. And uh, we're gonna talk about them, yeah? And we're gonna, the, the whole point, I will never say nobody takes your back. That would be false. Sport happens and you know, things happen. But I think the, my message is more, let's make the losing more enjoyable. Yeah, and now if, you, if they take your back, you should know what happened. Yeah, you should know what stage you lost. And then, after, okay, let's do it again. Let's try again, you know? So trying again makes you better because it is timing and everything else, yeah? So, but if you just lose and without knowing what it happened, how are you gonna make it better? And then you're gonna hate people on your, behind your back and because you don't know what to do and then you're gonna kind of dislike the sport more and just avoid certain things, no. We have to lose to get better at everything, we have to fail, yeah? So how do we make failing better and more enjoyable? By understanding the process of failing, what stages fail, okay? So, now let's do this back take again, so. You give it up, uh, seat belts, you can argue this way, wrist or that way, usually everybody just uh, defends, uh, hides the top arm, yeah, for a choke. Then usually, <clears throat> sorry, everybody says the knee goes behind, and most likely they, it has to be a little bit under me also, oh, push, yeah, so, and then I'll fall back a little bit, so, that I'm little in their lap a little bit, yeah, so this is kind of correct, I think, knee. So, and then hook goes in, go, and now nobody falls backwards, yeah, because they're going to drag my weight, the right way is the fall sideways, yeah? And then if you know what the, all the straight jackets and everything is, fall to body triangle, or even during the fall, try to catch this arm. Yeah, it's a good habit to have. And then hide your toes so it's connected, you know, everything is tucked, and then maybe grab this, and you're good to go for gi chokes or no gi chokes, okay? So, so this is the back take we're gonna try to challenge. So, I might fail also, it's on the video, so we'll see, you know? 
uh, more food for internet. Uh, so try it. You can do both sides, yeah, left or right, or just pick one if you're just learning this. Take your best coordinating side. Usually one is better, one is worse. So and uh, if you know more, do less. If they know less, let them do more. So you kind of balance it out. There's no five to five, whatever the ratio. Okay. And if you know everything already, then you know the uh, this practice, then take the worst side. So you still have something to learn and your motivation is enough high that you can try it. Otherwise, like I know it all, okay? So um, maybe three, four minutes. And the pace, uh, key is to do it in the lowest speed possible. So all the details come out, yeah? And you have to understand this back take as sloppy as possible, lowest speed. And the defense is easier to learn when the back takes are sloppier. That's why it's harder later, because if somebody's so good, you know, and you're like learning this, you have a, like a disbalance. And you have to get up there to actually win it. If, if, if both start, sucky back take, sucky defense, it's kind of good to go. But if one is good, then it's, that's why it's hard to catch up. You have to get so much better, and then it's equal fight. Okay, so understand also this if you do it against higher people later. You have to start low, yeah? So anyway, uh, now all this, three to five minutes, and I'll bring you back in. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, so, see, getting warmer already here, you know? So, anyway, otherwise just, Elena just laughs and it's just awkward. Anyway, uh, so, uh, now back take. So, we have to start somewhere, so, let's say um, I pick, anyway, let's start from the beginning. Sometimes it's good to start from the end, but let's do it, let's we'll see what happens. Always kind of mix it up. So, uh, without the gear at the moment, and then the key is the seat belt, yeah? Seat belt, and without the seat belt, we can argue that the back takes are harder. I would not say impossible, probably, but you know, very, very hard. Okay, so, so the first thing is that goddamn underhook. So if they get a seat belt and connect, now things are weird. Yeah, there's arm bars and everything else. So, like what? Back. So anyway, you know, I'm turning away also. This is the mini baby rich. Obviously, I can do hawking, not today. That some things are harder for him. Some things are easier. I'm um, closer to the pin, not quite. This is what I use right now, yeah? So there's two things, but because of there's different camps, I'm gonna probably introduce this later camps, and there's a system coming out, you know, within the year, every camp I do a little bit, okay? So, anyway, uh, get a seat belt. Just do it, man. Pretend like you've been here before. See, it's not, it should be a fight. Uh, again, I'm not, Maybe I forgot to say it at some point, but I would never say nobody gets underhook of me, yeah? But it should be a battle. Yeah, I can lose and win. And this already gave me, you know, three to five Mississippis to go like, oh, I can make a decision. And also, see what he did also? He took a weight off. And because the weight is off, I can start to escape, start escaping, yeah? I'll tie in the pattern. Anyway, so keep the weight on me. Wait, keep the weight. Yeah, wait, wait. Keep the weight. So it's controlling, yeah? So, and now keep the weight on me and get underhooks. Yes, I know. So, <laughs> I've been there, you know? That's why I lift weights also. So I can prove my worthiness and prove everybody wrong. So I need more strength, you know? So that's a, like a 10% true, maybe, yeah? So, that's why it's funny, no? Okay. So, uh, I think you're good film. Yes. So, and then uh, the key is also the angle is there. So I'm talking about the T shape. So, there's a lot of details also, so it's a bad class for skill building, but it's a good information dump that you're going to digest later, and you watch the videos and roll with me and everything else. So purposely I do a bad class for skill building, okay? So, so anyway, I cannot wait, I cannot be here. Now he's going to bully me with her chest, with his, <coughs> this happens, yeah, with his chest. So I can't do this. The chest goes to the shoulder now, he's going to try to pin me, yeah? So it has to be T, we call it, yeah? So right now, if he really wants to go under the shoulder, push, see where it has to go. See, he has to go lower, go lower. See, but nobody goes that low because I'm gonna just get out. And he shouldn't get over my shoulder. If he goes over my shoulder, I don't think his experience allows him to do that, okay? He would go like, yeah, I wouldn't do this. But if I'm doing it right away myself, they will push. And they can, they can get bullied. And if you're here, they can do it. So, they need, what everybody says, back exposure, you know, or chest exposure. Chest to chest, you heard it, you know, or back to chest. I need T. And this is a skill 
always changing, you know, because they're going to fight and adjust. It can be to drill with the different resistances, okay? So, T, yeah? And now, under hooks. See? Wait. He also gives me the arm, later he escapes. Yeah? So, different ways. And also, if you get underhooked, stop, you're going to just pummel it out. Yeah? There could be a technique version of this, go, underhook, and then I do, you do, I do, you do, and it's a technique flow. I hate because it just makes you so very complicated. So, like a true wrestler, I am, go. Underhook, pump, no, yeah, and then he goes back, yeah. So there's no complexity arising from there. And this is what you do also when somebody is pummeling with you, you know, just pummel it out. Don't accept underhook. Yes, you can throw and build complexity, but as a beginner, just don't give them underhook. And a lot of a lot of throws are gone after that. Yeah, if the underhook stays too long in, then they can have a chance. The better wrestler, the less time they need to find the hook. They just throw you, okay? So, think about now the, sh the T, yeah? Figure out it can't be over, under, so it has to be balanced. Think about, there's a specific way of talking about the elbows. You heard elbows close, yeah? You heard this? It's kind of half truth, because this can be actually open. So, everybody says elbows close, but let's say, where close? Where, you know? What, where's the closeness? It's actually pretty specific places where elbows can be close and strong. So one, this is probably hole. This is they will bully for gift wrap. It's actually a weird position somewhere here. Yeah? And that shape here, here. And then this is actually post. Out. Don't do it here. Hit wrist locks. Keep it here. Yeah? And then you fight. And so, all right, thank you. Yeah, i let you. So, uh, body shape, uh, underhooks. If you get underhook after a while, why not? You know, then you pummel it out. Okay? If you need to, adjust, shrimp, you know, move a little bit to keep the shape if they bully you, you know? So you can easily, like, you know, a little bit, move, you know, and adjust to what they do. So, test it, create questions, play if you need to. You can drill if you want, if you're that level. It is an intermediate class. So, test, yeah? And if you lose, okay, ah, body shape again, here. And then you know why you lose and then do it better. Three to five minutes, maybe less, let's go. <laughs> You have the, all the mistakes I expect. <laughs> and I don't think it's a bad thing to say. Because you're failing in a very right way. And now we can talk about it. So, you know, let's say, I'm not calling myself an expert, you know? Uh, that would be weird. But if you're an expert, you know, you understand that if... Uh, usually beginners do very predictable mistakes if they start in a very young field, you know? Kind of like this will happen, yeah? Anyway, uh, Mr. Brombold? Yes. So, what happens to, I, I need this, I need head up. Yeah, and what happens to you is this, you keep the elbows closed. This is quite dangerous actually at the moment, yeah? So, because if you do it here, they grab your wrist. This is super annoying, yeah? You can also bait this and you have those games that they can re-grab, re-grab this. Yeah, you have the, uh, grab my arm. Yes, yeah, so you have those games, but this is not necessary, yeah? Don't do it, out. Yeah, so go behind me. Don't do it like this. They just wrist lock you maybe very fast. No, wrist lock you very fast. Keep them there. Don't worry about your neck. I purposely don't talk about it because I want you to be annoyed by it. Yeah? Just don't worry about your neck at the moment. The neck is only more dangerous when underhook happens. We will go for chokes a little bit later, okay? So I need this crunch. I don't need this. Push me a little bit here. This happens, and then the gift wrap. And then this whole thing happens, and it's not the end of the world, but it's just harder. So, I need really this crunch, and I, uh, so don't do this. Uh, don't worry about this arm, and this would be the arm you fight, actually. So, get seatbelt. Don't sit me up. Because you feel this arm is weak, yeah? Because it's too low for underhook. This arm gets stronger if it goes more north-south. If it does now, it's more deeper, okay? But for underhook fight, it actually needs to be low, because it's easier to fight for underhook there. But that arm is short now, okay? So you have to kind of know all those things. So later is this, go. Underhook, no. See, you can just grab. Elbows out, don't grab it like this. They actually re-grab you. Try to re-grab me. They can't re-grab, okay? So, and this is a base also, four. If they bully you with their chest, push. 
This happens. Yeah. Oh, you're heavy. So, push. The post is there. Yeah. And most people will do a cross face like you, like this. They grab here. Because when I'm flat, now crank me a little bit. Crank. This sucks. Yeah. I can't move, so they lift my head for a crank. Okay. Do it again. This. Yeah. But if I'm here, this is thank you, actually. Go. I want that. And this goes, because I get height and we can sort of scramble way better. So if you think, people usually don't think I will sit up because they want to crank. It's not the crank anymore. Go. I will sit up. A lot of things are easier after that. So if you want that, you can do it, but not today maybe, yeah? So you don't get the same advantage when I'm flat. So this fight, do it very slowly. Let me succeed always when you drill or stuff. I need to have a confidence, not like it's complicated. So if they make it complicated, it's their fault, yeah? So here, underhook. If it happens, I can re pummel. And wait, and uh, this is bad. Because they grab underhook, pull back. See? They make me flat, okay? Uh, leg locks also here, yeah? Stepping into 50s and stuff, yeah? Okay, so this. Also, less cradles. If you have this, so grab. So if you make a mistake, this happens. You don't want that, okay? Go back, do a cradle. It's really annoying. Arms are short, okay? So, there's a, thank you. So, there is a very specific shape. And it's weird that it is that specific. But if you go boxing, I'm a good pretender, I know boxing. So, it is a specific, you know? You go like, you know? Toes, heel, hip. We have your weight, you know, here, here, here. Everything that matters, you know? That is very specific. You can teach. And then, so this is also very specific that takes time a little bit if you haven't used to it. So literally keeping that stance of yours under pressure. That's what boxers do. They keep their stance under pressure, you know, ball, here, slip, duck, pull, you know, duck, everything is there. Movement and then hard to punch. So they keep their stance under pressure. We have the same thing. We're just more under pressure all the way by the way. So we're here, shrimping. This makes you flat. You can do this also, by the way. So both are good. Crunch. Head up, ear to the shoulder, this, not that, yeah? And pummeling, just annoying. And then, if you already have three to five Mississippis, then it's enough time to put the escapes to work. And if you don't know how, then there's a time, and then we have to just put the escapes in and let you try. If you fail, go back to the structure, survive again, try again. There has to be a base for trying. If you try it and fall back this, you know, will not try again, because you risk losing. But that, that, that base gives you, one of them gives you a way to, like a, to try. And then if you fail, most likely, you do it again, like boxing. Yeah? Most likely you fail your punches a lot. You pull back, do it again, punch again. There's a back retreat, intelligent one yeah? in that, those sports. So uh, try it again. Top person, really good coach. Don't complicate things and don't go like, Argh! and they fall at like this, I, I cannot do it. Make them say, yes, I can. Okay, they, it's easy and low speed. Okay, three to five minutes, let's go. So next one, seat belt. So we're aside, we turn away. Uh, underhook, you lose uh, pummel, wrist fights, you get, don't get pushed away, don't pull. See, it's like a lot of mistakes already, why they get underhooks. When I said five mistakes in a row for back take, I was modest. Okay? I can be modest. Not that blunt as people you know, say I am. So, so anyway, um, so uh, a lot of mistakes already. So next would be if they connect. We messed up even more. Yeah? Underhook, we thought this, this, we had our chances. They got it, okay? Now the fun starts. It's still, by the way, baby wish. So I'm gonna not teach you anything else. I don't know, by the way, why it works like that. So, built by aliens, anyway. So. Now, what they need, if they put the leg over right now, would you back take right now here? Mm. See what they have to do, yeah? And even, well, keep the knee there, wait. And would you back take right now? See, uh -huh. Yeah, but would you feel like, put your knee a little bit more behind me? Or even, yes. See, now it's better, you feel it. And now if they fall, now this escapes really fast, yeah? So, so the better you do the first work, the easier it is for you, yeah? So you have a harder work in the beginning, back takes are easier in the end. So I know that. 
And um, also the defense fixes why you need to do that. We'll see if you get there today, but we can we can do it. So because the first circling, what it does. So so let's see if we failed. Put the let's say put the hook. Oh, just like this, yeah. Hook. Let's say like this. But, but, and now I do nothing else but just shrink a little bit. Do you feel your knee is in the right position? No. I know. So because I just see, I'm. Well, I can also make him fall this way. By the way, we're not going to the hooking right now. We're just suffering with the baby bridge. Because wait, I would be in trouble here. This, but now I need this angle. See, and now I'm a little bit harder to actually pull off there. Pull. Come on. Yeah. So thank you. So that's the I want to get to. I want to make this back take really draggy, like like this. Then I can make him overextend, overuse his strength. That leaves gaps. If I just fall, it doesn't have to extend anything. And then everything is more tight. So I want him like, and then that's my time to actually do something. If I, you know, boxing, punch, no punch, yeah? So you learn to figure, figure it out, so. And now let's do the, usually, let's say, they don't put the hook in first. Usually they take me to the lab, and then the hook fight happens, yeah? So let's take this fight. So we fall, we fell, went, like, you know, we lost. They put our, uh, they lifted us. We're here, wait, you can decide how much you need. Maybe this is too perfect, maybe in a fight you get this little much, but just knee has to be a little bit there. And now, you know, that's why it's bad, put the hook. Why would you do it? And also, if you're like this, you're very prone to fall that way. Go back, understand? So we need zuzritz. We can do also this or that. And literally I do like Octavio Kuda, by the way, yeah? So, go hook. Try to lift, try to go there. Yeah, so I can make it draggy. And then, so with the position, you find out how much the body helps. That's why I picked him with his long legs, because the leg kind of comes in slowly. And then you understand if your body is good, well shaped, in that specific shape, you feel how much you need arms. So again, so I let you try this now. So we fall. Decide how much you give him, yeah? So, give them. So now, if you're here, then you have to protect so big gap with your arms. You will lose that fight, yeah? And what they do also, they try to drag it out, see? And now I can't do it. So that's why we have opposite shape. Try to pull it open. See what happens? They actually pull me the turtle. They stop doing that now, because if I'm here, they can pull. See, now it's gonna suck, but if I'm in a shape, Go, pull. See, that they don't want. Without any hooks, they're not letting me go. So now they can't overcommit. Now, shape is good. This, that. Let's fight for hooks. See, turtle, go back. And if the hook is in, now the magic happens. Pull, let's go. And what is the shape? Wait. That's the stuff we did in warm up, yeah? Switch one, switch other. And now I'm head up actually, the, uh, shoulder up and everything for a choke defenses. And they're on the under, downside, but they're in hooks. This is, yeah, this is quite dangerous. You know the back tip? I'm not gonna show off now, yeah? They go belly down. See, this happens, yeah? Go back. I'm gonna be like a parrot now. You know what's the defense for that? Wait. Baby bridge. So go north south. <laughs> Just do nothing. <laughs> so, by the way, if he goes to north south by shrimping, yeah, by going belly down, you can follow him with this. They go north south, you shrimp backwards, baby bridge. They are, the second mistake, fifth mistake, you let them there, they try to tilt you to back the side. You just keep, they can't. And now I can decide what to do. So, and all the way, the answer was baby bridge. Nothing else. See, it can be simple. So I think it's a lot of information for you, but you understand why I emphasize the structure so much. Because it's again and again and again the same thing, you will fail. So, 
uh, have a try, play with that, I'll give you five minutes. Then if you have 15 minutes left, then we talk about jokes. Okay? Let's go. So, anyway, just for a feedback, how's the talk and doing ratio? Not bad? Great. Ah, good, yeah. I usually get blamed again, so I'm trying to improve on criticism. So, it's a hard thing, you know, to swallow the ego and stuff and go like, maybe they're right, you know? So, <laughs> joke, no? Anyway, so, uh, now the infamous jokes. Uh, Chokes, by the way, not the jokes, yeah? So, uh, so, 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 yeah, it's, I'm so funny, so. Uh, so, e chokes. So this is like a very small part of the back stuff. I usually go around to seminars because that, I, I will never say that Marcelo style back takes will not work. I call them Marcelo style because the, he was the one that belly down and everybody. But I like to, you know, they're so good back takes. So I'm like, I'm like, how do I balance them out? Obviously, you know, I never met him, you know, and then we have to test it on him though, because he kind of did it, you know, and everything. But the early evidence shows that it's pretty good, you know, in our average level. So I don't know how he would adapt to this or what would be changed and stuff. So that's everybody else's job to figure out how to ruin this. So uh, you understand where I'm coming from, yeah? I'm not, I'm not claiming something stupid. I'm just showing that you can actually try and go like, it's actually weird to you now turn me around with that balanced equation, yeah? So it's fun to be in a trouble and, you know, and also, let's say somebody famous have said that Jiu-Jitsu purpose is to be really comfortable in very uncomfortable positions. So that's why I go after submissions, because that's the ultimate goal, yeah? To be really, to be really, to be really uncomfortable in a submissions or back takes or something, you know? And that's why we're here. Learn to manage stress and make decision under stress. Under stress. So let's do that B. We will see if we cut that section from the video if I lose. So. Mm -hmm. So anyway, a little bit about the chokes, and then you will try it, and then we hand it up. So a uh, little bit, uh, choke, 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 so oh, key chokes. So uh, he's eager here. Yeah? So, so now uh, you can have double lapel. I don't have a gi pants on. It doesn't actually matter. So go for a choke. Go, go. <laughs> yes, good enough. Nice, good warm up. So uh, th this is actually bad. Yeah. So now take the choke. Yeah. Yes. And now get underhook here. This this sucks now, yeah? Because that's why again knee cannot be up. Because they will bow an arrow me, yeah? They will bow. now. So if this happens, go. Do you feel the same strength? No. You feel it, yeah? Wait, I do this. Go. This sucks right away, yeah? So the gi gives you that ability to if the knee is wrong, I can just bend you in half. If that, they have to lift me first and pull. Nobody can do it in their own weight. Yeah? So the knee has to, there's more reasons why the knee cannot be up in that specific situation, yeah? Other way you go like why the knee is up, why it's so specific. There's so many reasons, yeah? That we have to stay here, stay here, right here, okay? So, now, go for a gi choke. Do it from the lapel, don't lift me up. Would you do it without underhook? Uh, probably not. Try to pull it off? No, no, just try to choke me without underhook. What's missing? Control of the I know. So. <laughs> I do. I've been there so many times. So, but they need. So now, now you know more. Because we're learning defense. That why everything has to work the way it does for you. Yeah, for them. They need underhook actually. They need underhook to work. And underhook gets in, YouTube works. If underhook gets in, then it's armbar, kimura, tarik plata, gi chokes, everything basically. If you just deny the underhook, that key thing, I'm not saying it's not dangerous, but if you have more experience, you go like, why would you do it? Also, then there's a small dilemma there. So, uh, go for underhook, oh, not just underhook. And now uh, fight for a neck also. There's those fights. See, his underhook, his arm is short. If this happens, see what happens right away? Arm comes in. If I have this, wait, go for a gi, go. Go top both arms. It's a little bit messy thing here, yeah? So they need this. Now everything is super dangerous, okay? And also, uh, go for a gi choke. See, go back. Do it again. Go. Go, go, for real. Two arms. Two arms. Oh. 
I'm a stuck cut. I know. <laughs> Luckily, class is over, yeah? So, <laughs> so anyway, I can make it a fight again, yeah? So if they get the grip, then I can roll out and do everything. I can build up because they need an underhook after that, yeah? They need to put the leg in. A lot of stuff. So the gi grip. So the theory seems to be that everybody says always oh, protect your neck. And that's why you guys do most of this. I mean, you guys like a lot of guys, yeah? So, and that's dangerous. So I protect my neck this way also. So if you see me doing this, this is not without the neck protection. This is me also like protecting my neck different ways. Having my shoulder up and grip fighting. So doesn't have to go with this. So it's a little bit different, yeah? Like a, a boxer would do, shoulder rolls and stuff. It's not always like arms and stuff and blocks, and, okay? So I will not do this because you will fail at the beginning, but I just want to show that it's not that easy to choke. And if I give them a gi with an underhook, it's very hard to finish. Yeah, and then I have time to figure out what to do as I escape also. I have again a lot of Mississippi's time. So, just now we, now I'll give you time. We have nine minutes, open mat. Now do everything we did, yeah? Go baby bridge. Now there's more reasons to believe me. Yeah, still be in doubt. Uh, go underhook fights, pummel it, go wrist, elbow not in, elbow out, head up, you know, wrist fight a little bit, let them get it, then pull them to the lap, balance, balance, have a hook fight with balance stuff, and then if they pull, you go like pump, and you can fold the other side. Let them just pull early, now like a really slow at first so you can pull it off, then if you're good, peel it up, yeah. So you can actually pull this off. And obviously we have a later stuff if the hook stays in and then we fold. Right now I'm just pulling hook out and go, yeah? Then we do Marcelo back things. Let's call it like this. But obviously we can lose more and then it's more like back specific. But not today, yeah? So, uh, that's it. So, eight, nine minutes. Let's go. So, uh, the purpose of this class would be also like, I would say intrigue you a bit, give you a different view, and maybe like, ah, oh, interesting, you know? <laughs> so, and maybe you see some hope there. Oh, it's actually an hmm, interesting idea, I have to test and stuff. Always try those things with lesser skilled people first. Lesser weight, lesser skill. You can get false positives, you know, and then you go like, oh, it might work also, and then you build it up. Because if you try something this new against somebody high level, yeah, you try and do, try and think and they're like blah, 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 blah. you have to do everything right yeah then you get false negatives and then you uh, ah you know so again you yeah, enroll with me i try to do my best uh but, but we'll see what the sparring is and uh, show you if you're interested uh so what else ah and then we have a section what we some of you asked we have a section of forced transition certain things people do to you that you just have to go with it so uh, Mark, let's go. go. You don't need the bigger. Go. So a couple of things. We had this underhook here. Crank it a little bit. Crank it. No, no, no. Just oh. No, no. Oh, no. Crank. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is no, no. Just crank it up. This is forced transition. Yeah. I can resist, but they're gonna lift me up anyway. So without underhook. Yeah. Better for a video. So. And uh, I can move. Okay. Other forced transition you guys ended up is some of you started to harass the head. Yeah. But without the underhook, it's actually quite dangerous. Yeah. Because harass the head. This happens. Now we have a turtle. So, thank you, Mark. So, so uh, if you want to take the back, yeah, we don't know. You just harass the head, and they turtle up. So you lose, let's say, everything right now. You want to keep them there so you can underhook and seat belt everything. So we have a section when they just, if they don't know better, they're gonna. I'm gonna do this. Oh, turtle. Oh shit! I don't want to do this actually now because you're gonna escape. Yeah. I don't want this neck crank. I sit up. No, I want to keep you there. So certain attacks. Balance it out. You can still harass the head and wait for a turtle, but you don't do it for a back exposure because I know why, why you want to do it. Because here, you're going to press this down, this opens up, but if I know how to move, if the head goes down, I'm following and then still the elbow is here. So, you know, so there's a section of forced transitions that you will do less if I'm up, uh, I'm moving, I'm educated, let's say, yeah? And then it balances out. There's certain like too much strength. Anyway, so then you have to go with it. I make you overextend your strength limit. So, uh, I hope you find it useful huh? uh, and intriguing a little bit. And uh, yeah, make your own mind, kind of back to say like a new age, make your own mind. Uh, if it works, it works. We have to test it and then we adapt and always change and stuff. And you know, it's kind of fun process. So, but it's still baby rich again. So I like to do it because I'm just showing you certain things that that structure has a value. 
and then already like many classes have done this. So it makes sense to learn it, yeah? With a hip extension and then the hooking one also probably is there. So, uh, that was my last class, now it's open mat. Enjoy. If you, ah, who used, uh, have anybody used like a stuff, you know, from the Thursday class? Like belly down, moving the legs away and stuff? Yeah. Anybody? Good? Yeah? So, again, try it against lesser skilled people, lesser weight, and try to build it and also this today. Try to give your stuff back more away, fight for underhooks. And even if they win, you go like, oh shit, yeah, now I understand why their back is taken and what mistakes I do. So you enjoy more losing and giving up also because it's like now you know. And that's just make it better. So you can have a chance in open mat to actually try it off. Okay? So thank you for your time and open mat.